Welcome to this week's question and answer video series brought to you by the weekly advertiser and Meriton Financial Groups, where you have the opportunity to have your financial related questions answered. My name is Ashley Rowan and I am a financial advisor with Meriton Financial Group. Today's question looks at investing, so here it is. I expect to receive a small lump sum back in my tax return this year. Do you have any suggestions to make the most of this cash? Thanks for the question. If there is a good chance you'll receive a tax refund this year, or if throughout the year you have been thrifty and have accumulated some extra cash in your everyday account, try to contain the temptation to splurge or celebrate. Instead, make it work harder for you. There are some places you can stash some extra cash that will pay off in the long run. The first option is to reduce your debts. As boring as it might sound, this is the best way to earn more on your extra cash. Focus on any high interest loans such as credit cards and personal loans you have. While you're at it, you may set up an additional monthly payments towards these debts. Even a few extra dollars each month will put more back in your pocket in the long run. You may use this surplus cash to set up a special savings account. If you have a goal such as an overseas holiday or a wedding for example, use this extra cash to open up a, a bank account that's separate. Make sure it earns a high interest and set up a monthly automatic transfer from your everyday account to help it grow. It will quietly grow behind the scenes and be ready for when you need it most. If you wish to invest this lump sum, use it to set up a managed investment then make ongoing regular contributions. If you're yet to retire and haven't taken control of your superannuation, this might be an even better option for you as it is far more tax effective. Finally, you may decide to share your newfound wealth around. You don't have to be wealthy to be a philanthropist. What is your favourite charity? or share it between a few needy organisations of your choice. It will not only make you feel good, but you can claim your gift as a tax deduction. Each of these ideas will give you back far more than spending your extra cash on a whim. Please remember that this is general information only, and if you need personal advice, you need to speak with a suitably qualified financial advisor. That takes into account your specific details for giving advice. Thanks for sending in the question and thank you for taking the time to listen. If you have your own question that you would like answered, please visit our website and submit your question there. We don't use any names when answering questions to protect your privacy and personal details. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next week.